Stephen just tells this horrible joke. He's a garbage person. They don't even use, they don't even list any of the evidence or all of the claims. Here's no, the thing. No I don't have to do that because I'm a comedian. You wouldn't hold anyone else to this standard. Right. But you f up royally because you just so happened to take the only joke that we've ever done where the entire setup was a word for word <laughs> reciting of her testimony and all the evidence. <laughs> question of the day before we go to life advice. So here's my question. Honest opinion here. Why is it that you think progressives get so angry uh, whenever anyone of any notoriety sort of challenges even this? You know what? No, I don't like that question. No. Here's the question. All right. At what point do you think someone should be cut out of a conversation? Because we hear this a lot. Like, I'm not even going to discuss this with this person because right. they're a bad faith actor. We hear that quite a bit. And there is a certain point. For me, it's, is this person beyond any level of proof that could right. possibly convince them, change their mind, or at least cause them to relent, to, to relinquish or a, think a about point. It. What do you think, at what point does someone not necessarily deserve a spot at the table? And is that, for example, the person at SNL? Is that Dave Chappelle? Right. Or yours truly? So here's the context really quickly before we move on to uh, everything wrong with these arguments. But this is what I'm specifically <laughs> responding to at the Young Turks because my, my name was on their lips. Where's the joke? And that's what all conservatives do. They're like, <laughs> black people, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Latinos, right. who likes them? That's not a joke. I, so, I mean, Crowder does this all the time. <laughs> Gay people, <laughs> they're terrible, right? That's not a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, so, yeah. Uh, find <laughs> I me totally a clip agree with you. <laughs> at any point, any point ever in the history of this program where I've right. seen gay people, right? <laughs> Latinos, right? <laughs> Show me any evidence of my comedy being no. anywhere near as lazy as the journalism found over there at the Young Turks. <laughs> that is my challenge to you. And I will, again, I'd love to have a conversation with Cenk because, again, you called me out. You don't have yeah. to debate every single Twitter egg. But if you call me out, well, there, there should be some recourse. Yeah. Um, this is them in a clip supporting the Young Turks and a lot of people on the left supporting the idea of cancel culture. Right. And it really irks me because, A, these are people who've never stepped foot in the arena. Mm -hmm. And these are people who, yeah. they present these, these uh, disingenuous arguments. Or maybe they're just wrong. I, I don't want to say disingenuous. I don't know their intent. Um, as to why cancel culture is not really a pervasive problem, but it's really your fault that people are outraged. Let's go to the clip to hear the explanation. Look, as a comic, your whole uh, thing is read the room, right? And that's your job. What does the room find funny? If the room doesn't find it funny, yelling at them doesn't make it funnier. And so Chappelle's last stand up was terrible. Oh, well, thank you. First off, tell oh. Sam Kinison it doesn't make it funnier. Sometimes <laughs> yelling at the room does yeah. make it funnier. And uh, can be hilarious. here's something else, too, that I think is important. They try to create this sort of illusion of it's just about consequences for yeah. your action. It's not cancel culture because the First Amendment is only about government. So they try to say, this is just consequences for your action. It's the yeah. market speaking. Right. Well, hold on a second. It's disingenuous or at least incorrect because 99% of people like Dave Chappelle's special. It's the critics Whoa. who have a problem with a 35% <laughs> rating. And Sad. you see the same thing with, yeah. what is it, tearing down the house with AOC. Yeah. Oh, man. The people didn't like it. The critics are the ones who like it. This is not something where the audience or the market has spoken. CNBC ran a headline, Dave Chappelle's Netflix special is offending critics, but viewers don't care. Oh, it was the fault of the viewers for not agreeing with <laughs> yeah. the critics. It's our fault. This is what I think is funny. important to note. They try to say, this is an open this is an open market. It's actually not an open market. Yeah. Let's not act as though this is a, a voluntary sale of goods and services. Because a lot of the times conservatives say, well, I don't want to be boycotted. Listen, if people boycott you, that's one thing. That being said, right here we are talking about places like the Young Turks and their B team, we'll get to in a second, <laughs> where they are the ones, they're not acting like, it, it's more comparable to Wall Street speculators is trying to manipulate yeah. the market. They're more comparable to the hedge fund elitists who they claim to hate because they are so out of touch with the American viewer, they want to have control. So let's let's look at that for a second. They run what? 98% of media, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, mm -hmm. Google, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. That's it. That's pretty much, not, how would you say? If I'm not exaggerating, 90, 95% of gotta be all so information being delivered here across the United States. And they want to use their bully pulpit to force everyone to think the same way they do. Case in point, Dave Chappelle, listen, nobody was ever, nobody was canceling their Netflix subscriptions for, for <laughs> no. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle was not harmed one iota. Yep. This channel never negatively, w Nike couldn't care less if their ads were running randomly through Google AdSense no. before it changed my mind. It's people like the Young Turks. It's people like the Kathy Griffins of the world. It's people who are the social justice left who want to get us banned and removed because the market has spoken and people enjoy this content. That's what I think. Yeah. They're the ones pushing on funny material the market yeah. doesn't want. Hannah Gatsby, another example, was 100%. Yeah. Does it have 100%? Do we have 25% from the, oh, the public? 100%. Oh, yeah. 
Citizen Kane, I don't think gets 100%. No, no. But this chick does, and that's the whole thing that they said, is that Dave Chappelle got up there, and they said, this is not funny. Getting up there and Dave saying- Dave Chappelle's special was terrible. Right. Well, no, it if, says if it if was- his, If his halls were empty, the yeah, market would yeah. speak. Well, Instead, they're different. jam-packed to record numbers. Right. It's the young Turks who don't, who want to stop people. They, they want to be like the, 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 the crossing guard. At, what, what is it? What do they call those? The, the, the hall monitors? Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Don't yeah. go see Dave Chappelle. Out of my way. Don't go see Dave Chappelle, right? right. He hates gays, right? No one cares. Yeah, yeah. and first Nobody of all, it was he, nothing that he said was really offensive, right? He was making jokes about this, but they said he got up there and put the victim card. He said, the woe is me act. And I'm like, did you see the unfunny special that yeah. that lady did in Australia where well, she no, said, yeah. woe is me the entire time? That and you guys were all premise. applauding? I, I want to get to my, my sort of a call out of the young Turks. Not a call out, really a, 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 Look, a, a return call Don't start to the young Turks. Won't be a return young call to the young Turks here. Uh, a return young call, a return you. call to the young Turks. Stop that. That's incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> it's far more racist than any jokes that we've ever made. Here's something else. So don't acknowledge that it's market forces. That's important. And something else, this is the Young Turks B team. Here they are trying to coach you on what comedians, professional comedians, should do, or really entertainers or anyone like Shane Gillis who've gone out there and actually put their necks in the line, how you should deal with cancel culture to appease them. I don't mind when people aren't willing to accept that. But if you said, yeah, back in 1987 when I said those horrible things about gay folks, I totally missed the ball and I apologize and I've learned from it and I've done this, this, this and that to undo what I did. We mm -hmm. talked about something earlier. You go through levels of things to do things the wrong way. Go through that same amount of effort to do things the right way. You've gone, <laughs> you've done this, this and that and certain level of things do other such things and items of that nature. What are you saying? I don't know what I'm supposed to say. And he's trying okay. to let you know that as long as you follow this step-by-step -step guide, will allow you to continue to make yes, a living. Yeah. Here's one thing, let me tell you guys this. Don't ever apologize no. to the leftist mob, okay? Now, only ever. apologize if you believe you've done something wrong. Let me tell you this, I genuinely believe that if we apologize, and we, appe we tried to appease the Vox, the, the, oh, the Vulture, man, yeah. the Mike.com, the Gizmodos, whatever it was, NBC, Universal, like it's hard to keep track I of know, all these conglomerates. We would be gone. We yeah, would be yeah. gone. Here's something important to note. If you don't think you're wrong, if it's not something you want to correct something that maybe you said that isn't reflection of what you believe, of course you apologize, you correct it. Yeah. But apologizing just because someone says, if you do that and these other things will forgive you, the left doesn't no. believe in forgiveness today. And let me explain to you why it stems from Marxism, both economic and cultural. And I know there are a lot of atheist libertarians out there, but stay with me for a second. It is a distinctly atheist worldview, current progressivism. And forgiveness is not a virtue. Oh, forgiveness, mercy, is really only seen as a virtue in modern Christendom. This is something yeah. a lot of people don't, they say, what about the fly, I don't need a flying spaghetti monster to tell me that I shouldn't shoot anybody. Well, hold on a second. Not all societies uh, were against murder, though most were, saw it as bad. Right. Even fewer societies, but more, saw theft as wrong, but not all of them. That being said, mercy, forgiveness, up until really modern Christendom, were not seen as virtues. Strength, power, respect, instilling fear were seen as more yeah. valuable yeah. than forgiveness or mercy. This is important. This is why you don't apologize to people who do not believe in forgiveness. Let's compare yeah. it to the right. Bill Burr, I remember his last special. Yeah. He made fun of Christians quite yeah. a bit. And I remember you said, ah, it was a little rough. I, I didn't necessarily make it all the way through. Dave Chappelle. Okay. Dave Chappelle railed against Trump. Dave Chappelle, I yeah. think, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, appeared at a rally maybe or alluding to pushing some kind of gun control. The right didn't say they should never work again. The right is now seeing their new specials, Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle. They've completely forgiven them for any transgressions like telling offensive jokes because we know that <laughs> we can just turn it off. They move on. The left yeah. doesn't move on. And there are yeah. a few reasons as to why this is. The reason they want people removed entirely from these platforms, from their culture. Before I actually finish this, notifications. Please hit the notification bell yes. if you're subscribed. Subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Mug Club, ladderwithcutter.com slash mug club. Uh, join up, you get full access to The Daily Show. And really just bookmark this page every single day. That's we have new content. It. You're not gonna yeah. find us in the shirts, even if oh, you're yeah. subscribed. Uh, the reason they do this, the reason they want people removed from platforms is so that they can, so that they can present the narrative, including the arguments of their opponents in the way they want you to perceive it, yeah. as you see here. Where's the joke? And that's what all conservatives do. They're like, oh. <laughs> black people, you know what I'm saying? No. No, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> right? Latinos, who likes them? That's not a joke. I, so, that is not a joke. I mean, that's correct. Nobody knows what's saying that. Gay people, <laughs> they're terrible, right? That's not a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, again, challenge, when have we ever done this? Chank, Anna, please send me any example of me 
saying gay. Matter, let me go through kind of these jokes from last yeah. week. This is what they try to do. They try to separate the affront, what hurt their feelings from the actual joke. So last week alone, uh, Thursday alone, we did a Smells Like Teen Spirit shot for shot parody, a joke about Hannah Gatsby winning the Emmys, Elon Omar banging her brother, Joe Biden quadrupling U.S. population with his gaffe, Andrew Yang being attacked by Vox. We did a bit about priests bombing cities with holy water, the Canadian Cancer Society feeding transgender uh, men on their page regarding cervical cancer. Uh, Quarter Black Garrett did a bit with India's farting contest, and we had women getting surgery to combat <laughs> resting very bitch face. Thank you. Gay, right? <laughs> it's nowhere to be found. No, <laughs> that's not <laughs> something that archives. we did. You may not like any of those other jokes, but that is not what we did. And by the way, this yeah. is so. This is why they want people like us removed, because they can say all they say is gay suck, but we don't. Chank, you know that no. I never said yeah. that. This is also, by the way, why we show these clips. Please go watch the entire videos. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. Sometimes I have to pick my poison. Do it I want to watch Shank and Anna, or do I want to watch the B team reiterate what Shank and Anna have said? <laughs> That's awesome. Sometimes it's just like a palate cleanser. It's like lime yeah. sorbet, only it's poisonous lime sorbet. Yeah. <sighs> okay. We're, we, look, if, even if we do uh, dis, like do some jokes on one of these groups, right? We do it on every group equally, and we're yeah. not saying that we dislike Equal people. I don't think that we've ever come in here and said we don't like gay people or we don't like transgender people. We don't like putting forward ideologies that aren't good for society, and that's what we're really pushing back yeah. against. If they weren't pushing it so hard, we wouldn't have to. And by the way, the reason that they have a problem with this is that nobody on the left does any comedy against the left. That's why this is so unique. Right. Always on the right, we get hit mm -hmm. every single time. That's why Bill Burr's thing was a little rough for me. It's because I hear it from everywhere. If I didn't hear it from everywhere, it would have been funny. Yeah. You know? Well, but this is the first time. Chanks the, Chanks the uh, authority on all things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dave Chappelle's special was not awful. funny. Really? <laughs> really? This is, again, the challenge to you. Find any example of what it is they're saying. And, and this is why they want us gone. So they can say what we say. A good example. They even did this with uh, the Christine Blasey Ford joke. Yeah. Where the joke, they just show the punchline. <laughs> oh, yeah. Authorities are still allowing for the possibility that Christine Ford is a lying whore. That's the joke. The Young Turk said. <laughs> and it's funny. Said, I'm said, sorry. And you know what? And here's the thing. Stephen just tells this horrible joke. He's a garbage person. They don't even use, they don't even list any of the evidence or all of the claims. Here's no, the thing. No I don't have to do that because I'm a comedian. You wouldn't hold anyone else to this standard. Right. But you f***ed up royally because you just so happened to take the only joke that we've ever done where the entire setup was a word for word <laughs> reciting of her testimony and all the evidence. Yeah. We listed the evidence. And then, of course, the authorities are still allowing for the possibility that she could be a lying whore. That was a joke. You don't have to like the joke. Right. But you expand it 30 seconds in either direction, and then people get the context. So this is what bothers me. I understand that not everyone is obligated to debate everyone else. I get that, yeah. okay? I'm not saying this is that case. But since I've been a channel with 50,000 subscribers, the Young Turks, have, for some reason, yeah. my name won't leave their lips. So, Cenk, you know that... Let's sit down and let's talk about it. We've invited you on several times before. We don't attack you without offering you any recourse. Let's talk about cancel culture. Let's probably, you can cite some examples of me saying, who likes Latinos? Gays, they suck, right? You can bring your B team to do your research and let's hash it out. I am against cancel culture. I don't believe that it is a byproduct of market forces. I believe that you and those in the media, the media entertainment industrial complex, let's coin that. The, yeah. me the news media entertainment industrial complex who want to be the gatekeepers of information yeah. want to manipulate the market to bend to their will so they can tell you guys how to think. I don't agree with it. I think it's wrong. Let's talk about it, Shank. Seems like you're open since you let my name leave your mouth, but I won't hold my breath. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You may be wondering why after this outlandish video, this is such a straight end card. That's because we've recently learned that end cards actually determine the YouTube algorithm as it relates to controversy on a sliding scale. So we have uh, a yellow and it escalates all the way to the word f